Our conclusion from the uh, from what we observed in the trial is that venetoclax certainly has activity efficacy in patients with translocation 1114 in combination with bortezomib dexamethasone without any significant um, effect on the survival or increased mortality. We find a similar benefit in patients with uh, high BCL2 expression by quantitative PCR in that the venetoclax in combination with bortezomib offers an advantage to those patients. However, this is not something that we can translate to the clinic today because there is no validated assay to look at the, BC, the BCL2 expression or to identify the appropriate uh, cut points. And that biomarker is currently being developed uh, for the ongoing and future trials. Um, but clearly there seems to be a subgroup of patients who don't benefit or maybe even be harmed uh, by the use of venetoclax, particularly in combination with bortezomib dexamethasone, and those appear to be the patients with low BCL2 expression or high risk cytogenetics. So the ongoing study, particularly the CANOVA trial, is looking at randomizing patients with 1114 translocation with relapsed myeloma to either venetoclax dexamethasone or pomelodomide and dexamethasone. And that hopefully will provide us with the information that we need um, to get a potentially a drug approval in the setting of 1114 positive myeloma.